everybody! Today I'm going to be talking about my plugs. Loads of people ask me about my plugs and uh, how upsized they are and all that sort of stuff. Let's go from the beginning. I stretched my ears when I was 17. I just had this one ear and um, for some reason I thought it was alright to have just one plug but really now I think about it I bet I look a bit of a plonker so <laughs> I decided in February just gone so about ooh, 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 how many months ago that was because um, we're in October um, to uh, do the other ear because I wanted to look even also I could buy nice uh, pairs of plugs. I am 14 millimeters. I am 14 millimeters on my ears. You can see, yeah. When I was 17, I was a bit of a crazy kid. I was a bit of a tearaway. I was getting like bits of my face pierced and stuff, and like partying and everything like that, you know. And so I would do stuff like pierce my own ears, like down the side here, and just you know, generally kind of do it but I was always kind of aware of what was right and how to do it so I wasn't doing anything wrong I wasn't just like shoving needles through my face and stuff I'd never do that I was always I'd always go get facial piercings done properly I just I guess I wasn't you know I wanted to try that sort of stuff out um, and then when I got older I decided you know what what kind of I wanted on my face and what I wanted to look like and I was quite content with it so then I decided yeah I'll go for a pair because that's kind of more conventional for having like a pair of earrings I uh, use these bad boys for um, stretching my ear they're just little cones little stretches ah that's got a hair in it for some reason um, and in England here we do it in millimetres so I'm really really sorry like because I, I don't know all the conversions for all my bits like I've, I've seen uh, some, some of the comments on what sizes you guys are and when you wanted to wonder what I was um, so in this case I'm going to be talking in millimetres so if you want to convert it then I'm sure you can. I start off obviously with a pierced ear and then you use these, you can get them online or in like piercing shops and stuff. They start at like, I would start at a 1.5 or a 2 millimeter one. You don't want to push yourself because you don't want to result in tearing or hurting yourself. It is a little bit painful, I'm not going to lie. It can sting a bit and when it's done it's going to throb. Just look after it, just make sure you're washing it in the shower or in the bath. Like kind of, you know, you don't want it to get infected or be a bit gross. Then when you want to go up an, another size, um, I would leave it a few week, good few weeks before you decide to, to go up again. I usually left it about three or four weeks and also so it wasn't like painful to touch. I always did it in two millimetres so I'd go from a two millimetre to a four to a six to an eight to a twelve like that. Eight to a ten to a twelve sorry. Some sizes are more painful than others funny enough like I think your ear has like a certain amount of elasticity and everybody's ears are different. Some people can't go above a certain size because of just how elastic how elastic their ears are. Be really careful like don't push yourself too hard. When it comes to dangly earrings I buy my earrings, I've got a few pairs from um, I'm Your Present and they're really good because you can request at the checkout when you're buying earrings to have a kidney hoop fixed onto it instead of a stud. So um, what that is is this like hook here, I can't know if you can see it, oh no. Basically it has a fasten and you just unhinge it and hook it back in again and they're brilliant because what you do is if you're wearing like tunnels you can just put it through the tunnel like that or you can just put it underneath your plug out I do that mine just sits underneath my plug so I put it in like that and voila and then I do it up uh, and voila I can wear dangly earrings too I'm a present sells kidney hoops um, or if you have got dangly earrings and they've got a big hook on it, I'm sure that, that'll be fine as well. When looking after them, when looking after your plugs, um, if you ever, I, I, I always wash them when you have a bath or a shower, um, when you're washing your hair, and uh, if you have any problems with them, like they go a bit crusty and gross, um, or a bit smelly, because sometimes they smell, um, Usually it might mean you've slightly got a slight infection. Um, I use Sudocrem when I anything like that happens. Um, it's antiseptic healing cream. There's probably a version 
in, in all like all over the world, like different antiseptic creams. Um, I use them on my tattoos as well because it heals them. But I find that it really helps. It cleans up any infection and it um, it heals as well. So bonus does two things at once. When it comes to if you live with your parents and you want to get a plug. Um, just bear in mind what you want to do when you're older, because if you're younger and you want to stretch your ears, um, bear in mind that it's about 40 millimeters. that if you stretch it, it won't stretch back, it won't go back to normal. So think about what you want to do when you're older. Think about what image you're going to have, because some people just go through phases and they like things one year and they don't like it another. Um, so be, you need to be pretty self-aware and know what you want and know what you want to look like. So bear that in mind, and also just be respectful towards your parents. If they don't want you to do it, I'm sure you can wait until you're like 18 when you're an adult and you can make your own decisions. Um, at the end of the day, if you're living in their house, you kind of have to abide by their rules, which is fair enough. Um, but if you do really want it, and you know you feel like you can persuade them, just explain to them um, what what you're doing and why you're doing it, and the precautions you're going through. Even show them my video if you want to. Hi, mum or dad. Please let them stretch your ears. Yeah, and if you are, you know, if you are, if you you're allowed to do it, that's brilliant. If you're not, don't kick off about it, because at the end of the day, your parents are great. Um, my parents are pretty laid back. Uh, they let me do pretty much what I wanted to do. Although they may not have liked it that much, um, they kind of just laughed at me and said, oh my god, what is wrong with you? Uh, they don't like it when I take my plugs out and they can see the hole because they look like, says it looks like a cat bum. Always ask, be sure that's what you want to do, uh, be sure of yourself and uh, be very safe when you're doing it. Okay, that is all I've got to say about plugs. Thanks for watching guys. So please subscribe to my channel and be safe and be happy and love yourself and um, yeah, bye!